What is going on guys girls welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and our King Ronvald the Monk and in the last episode our wife died of natural causes and ever since we have been alone. Now this isn't you know necessarily a problem for us we're celibate and chaste but uh, I do think it's not the worst idea to have a woman help us govern our large empire. Well not an empire yet but almost. Um, and so yeah I've been looking at possible marriage candidates and I've finally decided on the Bruv Dubravka Premislid. Uh, she's of Bohemian descent. She is a shrewd woman and Midas touch. So has very good uh, stewardship which we need. Um, maybe that even increases our vassal but I'm not too sure. And she already has children but that's not that's not the point. The point is that if we were to marry her we would even gain some prestige. So I thought why not uh, she's skilled, she will give us, she, it's a prestigious house, right? Um, so, actually wait, oh that's, oh never mind, I thought it was her father, but yeah, so I think it's a great marriage. Anyway, Duchess Burengith is asking us to do with an assassination attempt. Give her a claim on Somerset. Uh, it's not my call really. You're a traitor, you, you can be happy that you got out of prison, so that's all I have to say about that. Anyway, yeah, it actually did increase our vassal limit by two. Very good. Now, I wonder if we are able to uh, do something here. The my religious conversion, that's not possible. I do need a new court tutor, apparently. So let me check who's available here. Dwarf and eunuch we do not have, but a tutor could be good. Most learning. Actually, it's her. Actually, it would be our wife, but I could... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to pick my slow son. So yeah, my wife it is. There we go. And we can move on forward. Perhaps it... Oh, we could send another gift. Hmm. You know what? Let's not do that right now. You're stressed now. That's upsetting. Wow, you're 41. Holy shit. When did that happen? I don't know. What I just realized is that Otto von Staten died of pneumonia. But they went to work. They had plenty of children. You've got lovers pox. You apparently had some time with the unchast here. Interesting. Interesting indeed. But okay, so my daughter is back. She could be married off Ooh, 26, she could be married off to the Byzantine Emperor. Or, uh, Count of Bornholm. You know what? Why not? Marry off there. That's a lot of prestige as well. Asta and you would gain 52 from marrying into the house and 100 marrying Basileus. Okay. There we go. That's nice. That's a, that's a nice boost of prestige. So... Would we we could form alliance with the Byzantines actually? Do we want to? They're attacking I Dogdu the monster in a war to religiously liberate Armenia. Interesting. I maybe I want to help them. Uh, maybe I want to ally them so we can use their help against the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, great conquest of Denmark, France. That's actually a huge chunk of France. We could conquer. We could even conquer Germany? Really? Wow, why is that? Oh, this is... I see. These are extra um, Casus Bellies that have been introduced with uh, with a DLC. Um, might actually be Holy Fury, <laughs> actually. Now I think about it. Um, do we have... Right. Now, you told me that these these buildings, especially the training grounds... They only improve this for, like, these bonuses only apply to the troops in this county or from this, yeah, from this province. So, uh, it's fine if I build that up. I'm also going to build it up here and, actually, Castle Shipyard first, and I'm also going to spend some money to build a city here in Naumadal, because why not, right? Why not? I knew there was a huge bear somewhere in the caves. Mm, have him find a bear, you can come along. 
a chance slot. Oh, sure. Uh, nah. Nah. Why? He's not useful. He's not a fighter. He's not a hunter. I don't need him. Okay. You are imprisoned. That's fine. Who are you, though? Okay. They've arrived to pillage lands. Well, I hope Duke Niels is going to deal with this. It's his, it's his job, really, as a local lord. That's why I made him Duke. Anyway, my granddaughter can get a new education. Stewardship. Hmm. Fine. Then, intrigue it is. How's your son doing, Aina? My wife is educating him. She looks cool, actually. She's diligent, so likely doing really hard work. It's always nice to see. Okay, and this man... Yeah, we'll try and gain leverage on him, and he stays out of factions. That's good to know. Still, no one is really voting for our preferred candidate here in Sweden. Hmm. Kind of annoying. My half-brother has carefully approached me about his Catholic beliefs. Yeah, we'll let him do that. That's fine. Interestingly, he's married to a friend. Dragomira. Actually, yeah, I want to give my brother something. But I'm not sure what. Wait. You are leader of the Aquitanian Revolt, even though you're the heir to Aquitaine? It's not good. It's not good at all. He might die and put his inheritance in jeopardy. That'd be terrible. Oh, and by the way, there is some war going on here. Yeah, Torben, our son-in-law, is at war with the Duchess Wuvgifu. And, uh, actually, there's, he's in two wars. Somerset, Somerset. People are doing all kinds of stuff. Well, I want you to stop this. Make peace with Somerset. But we would lose prestige for that, which I don't like. Hmm. Actually, you might win. We're actually winning this, so I might not have to intervene on your behalf at all. Alright. Mayor of a steward is slandering us. I, I think that's not true. Okay. We'll leave this. This went well. You're winning against Duke of Wessex. You're actually winning both of your wars so far. Alright. So all I might do is I might send you a bit of cash so that this is going to be easy on you. It's only 22 gold. It's actually not too much. But I want you to do well. And unseaging your own territory is not a bad idea. Okay, we've improved even more relations. But I still... go. Oh, I was just going to say, I can actually change the laws of Norway. But... Not Sweden. Interestingly, the supporters have changed. Niels Hastensen. Hmm. His brother is imprisoned. I see. Duke of Helsingland. Kobjur and the Pious. Died of cancer. So his 13-year-old son has taken over. Okay. And we can invest in new technology. I love that. Only trade practices, fine, let's get that up. And then military organization, heavy infantry. I like the siege equipment. Shipbuilding, fine. Yeah, because if I had spent it on this, I mean, would have gotten extra retinues and stuff like that. And, oh, pagan, well, we already removed it here. So yeah, that's fine, we don't need it anymore. The smuggler's ring in Neros has been destroyed. Awesome news. Hafrit is now Qatar. Nice. What do you want? Romsdal. No. Why are people so freaking greedy? 
Dragomira is known as the Merciless. She does have cancer, though. It all sounded as another of Dragomira's paranoid delusions. But I had to agree when she invited me for dinner that the food had an odd taste. Yeah, we'll help her, of course, immediately. We are just as paranoid. I, I completely understand. She deserves our help. No doubt about that. Okay, this is Sariel's child. You, of course, will be educated in the in the way of the blade by your mother, maybe. But you, oh, you need a new guardian as well. Have your mother teach you. She has the most to share, I think. So there's all these, oh, what? I inherited some random barony. Okay, we'll create a new vassal. Actually, uh, yeah, well, I could have, I could have given this to my half-brother, maybe. That would have been perhaps a good idea. Now, if I demand religious conversion, you're actually going to accept this. So let's do it. There we go. Um, this counters. Uh, we'll probably end, stop spying here. And we'll just see if there's other people that would like to convert. Probably not. Yeah, okay, it's fine. I'm not going to bribe them with money or anything, but yeah. Sometimes I will obviously ask them and see what they they have to say. And if they are, if they are willing to uh, convert, then sure. Because you're not zealous, actually. This could have been an issue. No, you're not. Okay. Uh, why does everyone want Ramsdahl? No. Stop it. Now, this could be interesting. Our niece could be... Oh, she's actually already betrothed to the King of Wallachia. Right. Yeah, let's accept that. Your father's imprisoned by some high chieftain. And what's this? I wish to forsake my old religion and lead Suomu people to its rightful place amongst the civilized realms. To ensure a peaceful transition to the Qatar faith. Interesting. Uh, I think we will accept that. We'll sign a non-aggression pact and assist him in converting his Suomu population. Oh, this is really cool. And what do we have here? We have got rebels or raiders. That's fine. We'll let them raid. Not too concerned about that. But this is cool. This could potentially be very interesting. And lines could be cool. Hmm. The conversion of Suomi. We've received news from your missionaries only a few days after the mass baptism of Heime. Although the priest writes that he does not feel entirely convinced about the sincerity of the barbarian's conversion, the ceremony went well and Suomi is now officially Qatar. Very good. We gained piety and 3% moral authority. Now, we should be at 20% moral authority now. Yeah. Rulers converted. Temples build. Okay. Hmm. Like, I, I could see us getting up to like 25%, but 30% I really don't see. Who's this? Soria. This Norwegian dude is still around. It's actually kind of cool. Um... Uh, yeah, sure. Encourage her, whatever. I'm not quite sure what is happening, but I'm okay. quiet. Now, how is your war going? How are your wars going? Yorick and Wessex. Let's make Yorick stand down. Peace with Somerset. I'll lose the prestige. And we'll give you a favor, that's fine. And uh, I think the favor she'll use to, uh, she'll use as a pardon, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Um, fine, I'll give you a nice gift now. That's cool. And she likes it. Awesome. I wish we could be friends, though. Pal inherited some lands. Hmm. Well, we have finished construction of the city. Now, I could give this city to my half-brother, I guess. Let's do it. Yeah, you're not inheriting the city, so that's cool. Alright, so our half-brother gained some land. He's a mayor now. 
I don't know if he's happy about that. Probably not. Well, actually, he is. Plus 20? Plus 30, actually. Hmm. Duke Walt of the Apostle. Uh, there's two Apostles. Female and a male. Okay. Shrewsbury. Well, good for you. For gain I think that was his vassal that he fought there. So that's fine. Okay, what's happening? Crusade against our religion. Oh, that's interesting. And something has been happening. Siege of Moon. Oh, these are raiders. Okay. And what's this? I'm pleased to report that our... Uh... Afflet... Oh, what what the hell? Afflet Alfnot's daughter has converted. That's good. I wanted the county to convert, though. And what's happening? A crusade against our religion. Crusade for France. Wait a minute. Oh, well, that's not good. That's not good. King of Cross Ragul Scotland. What in the world? What? What is that? Cross Ragul Scotland. How did you make a kingdom? There is the King of Corinthia, the Queen of Poland, King of France. Uh, Holy Roman Emperor. Okay, there's a lot of people. Other side, my vassals. Can I... Oh, I'm the target. So, I guess I'm in it automatically. We're target of a crusade. Well, that's not good. When is this going to start? In 475 days. Okay, we need to get freaking ready. Um... I... Can raise men? I can build one more retinue. Um, okay. We're gonna have a crusade on our hands. France is what we need to defend. I could, I guess I could raise my men and get them ready, but I guess I'll do this, I mean, maybe like a year before it starts. There's gonna be all kinds of holy orders that will join us. It's gonna be terrible. All right, but it could be interesting as well. Just the other day, I caught Count Thord of Angamenland and my courtier in flagrante. Hmm. You know what? Ice. Hmm. I mean, who even is he? Uh, maybe blackmail him. I don't know. I don't know if that really fit, but I guess five gold was totally worth it. I don't know. <laughs> but oh well. These people are looting a lot of stuff. Um. Yeah, well, I can't really do anything about that. I hope they'll stop and just move away. Thanks. Someone died? Okay. Now, the crooked duchess, Wolf Gifo the Apostle, has called in the favor you owe her in order to force you to pardon her. Yeah, I knew about that. I knew she was going to do that. Now, the Bishop of Canterbury. Okay. Well, it has reached me that your court chaplain has accused me of heresy. I employ you as a devout Cathar to another, I believe... Uh, what? Bishop Cuthbert is definitely a heretic. Yeah, obviously. He needs to change his heathen ways, that's for sure. Ah, uh, heretic ways, I guess. Alright, where's the crusade? 300 days. I kind of want to get my troops ready. I'm not sure if we are ready for this, though. 45,000 men... We have 20,000. That's it. 20,000 men. We have no chance of fighting. I guess we could reconvert, maybe? Uh, this is, this is going to be interesting. Um, so, potentially, we would be losing Normandy. Oh, which is not too bad, I guess. But, yeah, it's not amazing. Obviously. Hmm. Oh! Oh! Oh, you know what, guys? We have 7,000 prestige. Look at this. Now, if I create these duchies, we get 200 prestige for each. Let me do this. Let me create... Well, hold on, hold on. Duchy of Adga has been created. I can give this out to 
Count Grimm. Marshal of Upland. Oh, I see. So either Countess Homlog of Rogaland. She was the first to convert. And her heir is Norwegian Qatar. Or Countess Curran of Telemark. We actually do like her quite a bit. Attracted. Well, she's attractive, I see. But this doesn't really count for our guy, I guess. So yeah, you will get this ducal title. Duchy of Adga. Very good. So she will be super happy. Now, let's create another title. Duchy of Finnmark. Yes. Let me see who I want to give this to. Hmm. Hmm. Either the kid. Norwegian. We don't like him particularly. We don't like this guy either. He's kind and honest. And groomed. Fine. I'll make you... Duke of Finnmark. Oh, well, I don't have to give it out necessarily. I could give it to my friend as well. In fact, I might. Might you Duke of Finnmark. There you go. You're grown in power. You have two ducal titles. That's fine, though. I, I think that works well. Then, Duchy of Jemtland can be created. Yes. That, either Count Grimm, the Quarler, he still owes us a favor. Or... Count Ale. We like him minus four. We like him minus four. Yeah, I think he will deserve... Yeah, he deserves the duchy. There you go. Congratulations. And then who else? Two more titles. Cornwall. Create that title. And then we can give it to this guy, but he was a traitor. Or you... You were not a traitor. Hmm. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have created this title. Well, I guess give it to you. You're married to a traitor, though, but you stayed loyal, so I guess you'll get Cornwall. Now I guess I can make you convert. Might as well. And then... And then... All kinds of weak claims. Duchy of Lapland can be created. Let's do that. And we can found a new empire. But let's first give this to... Yeah, you. Count Aldwin. There we go. It's now called Norland. That's fine, I'll take it. There we go. And we now have over 8,000 prestige. And that means I can found an empire. 1,000 gold, totally worth it. And here we are, an emperor. It's still called Norway, I guess. Empire of Norway, not too bad. But we can appoint a new advisor as well. Hmm. Wow, we got two Sterkens here. Actually, there's three Sterkens dukes, I think. Um, look at this. Duke of Norland, Duke of Cornwall. Duchess of Huys, or whatever it's called. Um, hmm. There's actually plenty of people. My son. Okay, my son needs to be an advisor, for sure. Okay, definitely have him on the council here. And then a Seneschal. That title needs to be given to someone. Feast Domestic Entertainment. Hmm... Who's a particularly funny person? I don't know. But... Maybe... Maybe. I'll honor... Duke of Cornwall. The Duchess of Orkney. There you go. And then we need new commanders. Uh, Duke of Berkslagen. I, I know I'm pronouncing this poorly, but oh well. Luchlach Dunkeld. And then... Duke of Kent. Or... Ostergotland. I guess I'll take him instead. There we go. Alright, so we have the Empire, finally. Uh, Crusade is coming in 200 days. We'll likely raise our men. Um, and yeah, now I can give out kingdom titles if I want. And it's not as problematic if I lose kingdom titles. So uh, I guess Sweden, we might lose. Uh, the Swedes will have their own king, uh, which is fine by me. Look at the papacy here. That's interesting. And I wonder... 
our pacts. Can I form an alliance? Or could they join us in a crusade? I don't know. They might be able to. Actually, we could have the Orthodox on our side. And for 15 gold, having an alliance with you guys? I wouldn't mind. If they could join us, I don't know if they can. Maybe the Suomi as well? Are they actually already on this? We have our vassals in here. Who's on the other side, though? I hope none of my vassals. It doesn't seem to be the case. The Knights of Spiddler. Prince Robert the Frog. Okay, there's quite a lot of people. Hmm. That's fine. That's gonna happen next time, though. For now, we have the Empire. I was gonna go for the North Sea Empire, but obviously you guys can let me uh, know what kind of names you have in mind. Uh, but it will maybe take me some time to get your uh, ideas in the game. But that's fine. Anyways, that was it for this very long episode. I'll see you guys next time. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.